All right, so here we are documenting our TNT fireworks tent that sits in a Walmart. So here we just got the order. The order was supposed to be one to four window. It was eight to 12, so I was by myself. Hudson wasn't here to help me, but we were able to get it off. And uh, now we're gonna start bunting the tables, which we would have liked to have already done, but we usually do that the day before, bunt the side of the tent, as well as the tables themselves, make them look nicer. But our tent wasn't up until late last night, the night before. We usually do that the night before. So here's all of our orders sitting on the tables, counted the pallets. We got three pallets, which are these guys from the delivery guy, making sure the number of boxes is correct on our invoice. Because if they don't match up, then that's on my wallet. Because if I sign it and he leaves and I don't have the amount of boxes I'm supposed to, which we were for short, well, me signing that and not saying that is like saying that we did have all the boxes. So we want to make sure we have that in order. So just got them off the pallets. You can see some are still on the pallets. Try to do as quickly as possible to get the guy out of here. Uh, these pallets, nice to be at Walmart here. You can see how it's already been raining. Uh, they give us a couple pallets. They come on with the delivery. But we like to grab some from Walmart. They're kind enough. We just put them back when we're done. The lawn and garden and, you know, pallets they move stuff around on that their stuff gets shipped on. Put them under the tables so the boxes sit on those, the extra stuff. They're not sitting on the wet ground, which is, of course, going to ruin your cheap cardboard China-made fireworks. So step one done. Step two, I'm going to use my invoice, which is this guy here. It has the order of everything we're supposed to, and we'll start kind of sporadically, not sporadically, but organizing, actually, I should say, the boxes around where we'll have them roughly in the tent, and then I'll start opening them. Make sure that each box has what it says. So for example, smile, there should be 16 for that one case. Because again, if we don't have what we're supposed to have in our first initial order, then that's money out of my wallet, which of course we don't want to. So we miss Hudson, he's a good helper. He's not quite old enough to work this tent himself, but he's old enough to help. Right now, dad's here by himself until mom gets here to help for a couple hours. So the experience has begun, you can see our tent is not very impressive. It's got zip tied instead of to each other. They've zip tied to the actual pole, which means every time I put it up, I'm gonna have to cut those zip ties. And then if it rains or at night, I'm gonna have to re-zip tie it to the pole because the tent wasn't properly put up. You can see the great gaps that are in the corner. We usually get some pretty good rain on this side. It's kind of how the storms come. We're at the Meadville Walmart. They come from uh, Conneaut Lake, typically the rain. The back corner pole is also uh, kind of zip tied to it which is not how it's supposed to be set up. And to be frank, it's dumb. You can see this pole, even from the inside, you can see how it's angling out so much. This guy here, they actually put on top of that tiny corner instead of moving the tent properly for a foot or so, so it's sitting on the ground as this parking lot. Can't really tell from the video, it's very sloped in this corner of Walmart. It's a little disappointing every year. It's usually something with the tent, just kind of make do the best we can. I'll bring in my old tarp and uh, string it up on the outside so that when we get rain, which the next day or two, at least we're gonna have some decent rain, it's not coming in and again, soaking the cardboard on the tables or under. So here we go. The experience has begun. Not necessarily a fun experience for me. My son Hudson really loves the fireworks and enjoys being here. So we're trying to hold on to it for a couple more years until he's old enough to work it. So here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna set the time lapse. Uh, my son can't be here and he loves to see this stuff, so I figured why not make a video and we'll throw it on his page for him as well on YouTube, he likes that stuff. But uh, we're going to, so each of the tables kind of has, there's a flow to the pricing, you know, much like anything. You walk into the store at the checkout line, which would be our area here, you want the smaller stuff that's cheaper, they can grab them like your poppets, smokes, you know, things like that. And then up here, this is gonna be our entrance. And then up here you have the smaller items like smokes, sparklers, that's pretty much that whole table. A couple novelty things like the uh, the dog that shoots the fire, firework out the back, the turtles, you know, little things like that. And then it kind of has the smaller single priced individual items up top. And then it gets to kind of the mid price range ones here, about 20 to say 50-ish here. And then we'll start about this table with our smaller assortments, which are the packages like the Hot Zones one, uh, 49ers one, uh, Big Deluxe, etc. And we'll go smaller and then get more pricey, expensive that is down in the corner. Middle table here, we put the most expensive, usually assortment we have, which is this Big Deluxe, which unfortunately is more expensive than it has been in prior years. It's got some nice smaller fireworks in it, keep you busy for a long time, but it's I mean, it's everything they, in these tents. The prices are just more than they should be. Uh, you get some neat fireworks and we're a convenience store, but 
other than that, you know, I, I'm selling the stuff and, you know, we make money about 17 cents on every dollar is kind of how it roughly equates out to that we sell. And I don't sometimes want people buying different items. I'll try to guide them to the better item or the better priced item. So I'm going to leave the time let's run in this back table. Uh, we're going to have the uh, bigger items. So uh, here we'll have our most expensive item down to our cheaper of the biggest items here. So I'm going to let the time lapse run while I kind of do some of this. Let's see how it goes. So just a quick show here of our progress. And as you can see, we have a river running through our tent. It would not be a TNT fireworks tent season if it wasn't for a downpour. It's actually slowed down a little bit. The pacing, there are thunderstorms in the area all day, including up to 40 mile an hour wind, which might get a little interesting, especially with a bit of a disgruntled tent. But as of now, she's holding. Again, that's why we keep them on the crates up off the ground. You can see we have a steady stro, excuse me, steady slow stream running through our tent. Uh, but it's actually lessened up right now. So we're gonna keep setting up and hope for the best. So there is our biggest individual items across the back from smallest price, like this uh, Light Symphony that is, all the way up to the biggest uh, Allegiance and then that kind of uh, package box they sent us in the corner there. So it stopped raining, so my wife's here. We're gonna bunt the outside of the tent, which is just that TNT stuff. You have to use string, tape, and the paper they send you while it's not raining. And then I'll continue with uh, tearing up, setting, uh, setting up the tables. All right, so my wife and a friend of ours was here helping for a while, so I didn't have the time lapse going. They didn't want to uh, be on time lapse, which is fine. But I uh, show here our progress. So we got mostly everything set up. Uh, we've been dealing with the weather all day. You can see it kind of still blowing. Our flaps are down with the rain. Kind of hits us and then it leaves, hits us and leaves. It hit us pretty hard a time or two. But you can see here we have most everything set up. Uh, again, going from largest price assortment down to smallest price assortment. And then these are kind of the mid-tier priced, uh, cheaper than the ones we have down there, uh, single items, and then they get cheaper all the way up to the top, which you can see we're not quite there. We got a bunch of blocks up there. Here's the small stuff, sparklers and smokes are pretty much this whole entire first table. And then we got some spinners and then some novelty assortment of stuff, and then we're still open it. So that's where we finished. Uh, they've left, I'm back by myself. So uh, we'll turn the time lapse on here while we're trying to finish her up. Now we can get the tag.
So just one quick look here as we are nearing the end. Uh, we got quite a bit in the time lapse. Uh, each process of setting up really in there. Uh, didn't get everything due to the weather, my phone getting knocked over or other aspects. But uh, yeah, all the price tags are almost up. Got a couple missing, we're gonna find those. And then we like to do a information tag on top of each of the items, kind of a brief description of the best elements of each firework. So I'll get those up. Maybe let that run in the time lapse if I can. And then a quick look. And then uh, once my son gets here, I have him make a uh, kind of what, what the item breakdown uh, in our tent is. A little video for that. Final look here at our brief descriptive cards on top. They're not only great to uh, briefly inform people of what each item does, also remind you if you can't remember them all, but a great selling item, especially when the tent's really busy. Uh, we just kind of highlight the best aspects of each one of them up top. So I got a couple uh, new ones I need to put uh, descriptions on, like the Lava Panther and the Fancy Pants, Jungle Flower, a couple other ones up here as well. But that is it. So that is the setup. We uh, tidy a couple things up. The sun is almost out. So we'll lift the sides, get the rest of our signs up. And that is it for this video. We are ready to sell. Have my son make a brief video here of the uh, what he thinks are the best deals. That's our tent.